Welcome everyone to another Farm Simulator 15 tutorial video. In this video I will show you how to properly load and transport your logs. First up you're going to need uh, this transporter here. They have two different transporters, the Timber Runner and this one here. This one's a little bit more expensive, about 54000 I think this right here is the better one to start with just because it has the crane. With the Timber Runner it's bigger but you also have to have a front loader which is going to be a lot more money then with what the price of you pay with this right here and all you think you need is just a tractor to pull it and it has a built-in crane which is awesome another thing um i need to mention gotta have a chainsaw but um everybody likes to cut up their logs like maybe like cut a tree in this size maybe into two pieces have like gigantic logs hanging all out the back it's gonna be really really hard to transport that way so the best thing to do is probably cut your logs up to the size of the trailer which you're transporting it in so the trailer's not that big, so the logs, my logs will be cut up pretty small. So next up, you're going to need your chainsaw. And of course, your log that you have debrushed already and chopped down. Preferably pine. <laughs> pine is the easiest tree to do. And the most expensive, which you get paid the most for. Next, you go up and you size it out. It's about the, just eyeballs the size of the trailer. It don't have to be exact. Let's go and find your cut mark. Now I showed previous videos how to chop down a tree and also cut the brushes off the tree. If you want to learn how to do that, just look in the previous tutorial videos there. There we are. And I want to cut this little tip off here. I don't think we need this. As you see the tip disappeared right there. We didn't really need it. All right, next up, we will hop inside of our crane right here. And this is the actual seat you can sit in. You can tab just to a tractor, just like you can tap to your seat here. First thing you want to do is make sure your tractor um, has it select, like your um, wheel, wheel don't have um, anything on the front of this tractor, so it's automatically select to the back. So if you have something on the front and you have that select, and when you go back here to your crane, it won't be able to move. So you have to have it select in your tractor to give it power. Next thing you want to do is drop your feet down. Do that and you control functions on your left, top left hand side there. And then the crane moves just like a front loader. A little bit extra, extra, uh, extra uh, functionality. And everything should be movable with the mouse. Move this right here with your uh, up, down, left, right, holding the uh, left mouse button. Holding the right mouse button, which controls your head here left and right pulls in and out up and down moves the actual uh, your second arm up and down when you hold both mouth buttons both mouse buttons spins it rotates it one way rotates it another way up and down up closes it down opens it you have to hold both mouse buttons for that now all you have to do is just get in position. <clears throat> For anything really close to my trailer, what I like to do is hold my left mouse button, pull it entirely up like this, get it up in the air. Then take my right, right mouse button and just move it down. Move it down this position this way. I feel like this is the easy way to do it. Then just take my left mouse, my right mouse button, extend the arm out, tweak it a little bit. There you have it. All right, we got our first log here. So bringing it in. And don't worry about the log swinging so much, as long as it's not a huge, gigantic log. Like, if you cut down a whole tree and just cut it into two pieces, you shouldn't have any problems. Because you have supports on your, uh, on your trailer here. Rotate it in place, how you want to place it down. I like to place, whatever end is short, I like to place that towards the front. Well, whichever end I'm holding that shoulder. My left mouse button, I pull it all the way up as high as it can go. Then my right right mouse button, hold it down and push it down here into place. Extend it a little bit. Get in position. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. And it should drop right in there. As you can see right here, I should be in a good position for it now. Let's move this way a little bit. And I can just drop it right here. It should fall right in there. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm sure y'all guys another trick here. Uh, if you know how to change your camera and your 
and your tractors you can also do that here while on this uh this trailer just press that button and you can go into your clog view here i don't really care too much for this view but some people do i just don't like it because you can't move the camera on at all this is the only view you get here it's just hard for me to work with this view oh don't you go nowhere <laughs> sometimes you gotta chase out to your logs it's bearable at some time when you, when you get a lot of logs and stuff gets hectic up here it's 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 really like hard to deal with I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the uh, previous one here pre with the previous log. Got my left mouse button all the way up. Got the extended high as it can go. Then just start slowly sliding my right. Hold my right mouse button down and slide it into place here. And this should be good. Let's drop it right there. Alright. Looks good. Let's see if we can extend it out. We may not have to move our trailer, but then again, we may have to. Don't know. Make an extender out and get that. Yeah. Come on. Come here. We might can get it, y'all. Uh, I don't think so. Nah, barely got it. Alright, we're gonna have to move it back a little bit. Yeah. Now, also, when you when you move your trailer, you do have to pick your feet back up. I'm just going to back up a tad bit. There's two seconds, that's all. I'm just trying to see if, show y'all how to extend and you can grab some, but it's a little bit too far. But it's really easy to move the trailer, so it's, it's not like a big hassle or anything like that. Do the exact same thing here. Pick it up. Place it in there. Left one all the way up, right one starts to slowly move down, extending your arm in and out as needed. It's kind of hard to get the best view. I liked, I would like to see it from this view right here, but like the camera zooms in like that automatically. So you have to be like at an angle or something for it to work properly. All right, we should be in there now. It's in there. I'll just drop it down. All right, and we have loaded one entire tree. Usually, we'll have more than this right here. You could, uh, I can fit about, um, I have fitted maybe two big trees and one small tree up here before, or maybe like four small trees. And it all fitted perfectly. Another thing you have to do is uh, when you're transporting, uh, some people just like leave like this and just ready to go or whatever. What I like to do is just take my crane, uh, open it all the way up, make sure my my claw is open all the way up, fit it around my wood here, and just like press it down on a little bit, just slightly, just slightly give it a little tug, so you know it's like snug in there. Usually, usually your logs don't fall off unless you have a lot that's on the outside of your rails, like if you're overfilling it, but just this many right here, they, they wouldn't fall nowhere though, but this is how I like to transport it right here. It's not all the way down, like pushing all the way clear down like that, but... It's just like a little so you see them move a little bit you know they just it's snug up there they wouldn't go anywhere you pitch your feet up and here we are we're ready to go now i should be able to do anything these logs should be snug because this, this trailer doesn't have a locking device so your logs can fly out now you can see right here i'm doing 360 donuts those logs look like they're in there to stay all right everybody i do thank you for tuning in this has been your host, Beast Boy Drum, and this has been a tutorial on how to properly load and transport logs.